All right, so we're gonna work through some sequence problems on um, number 24 through 29. So let's remember that um, arithmetic sequences are when you add or subtract, and geometric sequences are when you multiply, okay? So let's look at this first question. Um, it's asking which function represents the sequence. So I see that the top are just my term numbers, so for first term, second term, third term, and so forth. And the bottom are my term values. And I can see that, that in order to get from 3 to 10, I'm adding 7. So to get from 10 to 17, I add 7. And that pattern continues. So I know that this is an arithmetic sequence. Okay, And then I'm going to use that to help me write a formula. Well, my formula for arithmetic is my common difference times n, and then my zero term. Well, my common difference is just how I'm changing, so it's a positive 7. And my zero term is actually the term before my first term. Well, if I'm going in a pattern of plus 7 this way, I'm going to subtract 7 going this way, and 3 minus 7 is negative 4. So my zero term is negative 4, and then this is like like x and y equals mx plus b, we don't really write anything for that. So if I'm going to, um, I'm going to rewrite this, I'm not going to write anything for n. So I'm just going to write a sub n equals 7n and then a minus 4, which seems to be our b answer. So looking at number 25, I can see that my options are recursive, meaning um, it has a sub n minus 1 in it, and recursive means that this little a sub n minus 1 means go, you have to go beforehand. You have to have the term beforehand. So again, my term numbers and then my term values look like I'm adding 2. So again, arithmetic. And recursive formulas say, hey, just look at the term beforehand. So a sub n minus 1. And then add or subtract, subtract whatever pattern you're doing. So in our case, we are adding 2. Okay, and that looks like our option B. 26. Let's look at this pattern, okay? Which function represents the sequence that represents the pattern? So let's count our little snowflakes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 in this one. So it looks like every single time we are adding 3. So again, arithmetic. And using our arithmetic formula up here, right? It says, look at the one beforehand, and then add 3. Well, looking down at our options, B looks like, look at the one beforehand and add 3, what we've discovered. All right, let's look at option 20, or question 27, excuse me. Which function is modeled in this table? Okay, so this says x plus 7, x plus 9, 2x plus 5, 3x plus 5. 5. So what you're going to do is you're going to plug in an x value. So if I plugged 1 in, all right, well, that would be 1 plus 7, and that gives me 8. Well, that's what it looks like here. Let's try this one. Plug in 2. 2 plus 7 gives me 9, but that's not 11, so this is not an option. Let's try again. 1 plus 9 gives me 10. Well, I, don't want, I want 8, not 10, so not an option. Let's try C. 2 times 1 plus 5. Well, 2 times 1 is 2 plus 5 is 7. That's not going to work because, I'm again, I'm looking for 8. And let's try the last one. 3 times 1 plus 5 does give me 8. Let's try round 2. 3 times 2 plus 5. Well, that's 6 plus 5 gives me 11. All right, so it looks like D is our option. All right, 28. Which explicit formula describes the pattern in this table? Again, plug your values for D in and see if you get C as a result. Okay, so first one, it would be 2 equals 3.14 times C times 6.28. Well, no way in the world that 3.14 times 6.28 is going to give me 2. So that's not going to work. Let's try B. 3.14 times C gives me D. Well, that's the same thing, but backwards. That's not going to work. 31.4 times 10 equals C. Well, let's try 31.4 times 10. It gives me 314. I don't even see that number. And so let's try 6.28, our C value, equaling 3.14 times our D value, which is 2. And 3.14 
times 2 is 6.28. So D would be your option. Then last one, if f of 12 equals 4 times 12 minus 20, which function gives f of x? So let's just pretend the 12 wasn't there and it was x. So instead of a 12 being there, there's going to be an x there. So 4x minus 20 looks like c.